Southern California's water supplies are limited. Those six simple words have shaped a lot of the region's past and continue to define its future. The Metropolitan Water District of Southern California was formed more than 80 years ago in response to this reality, to build and operate the Colorado River Aqueduct and bring supplemental water resources to a growing population. Water is of critical importance all around the world. There are an estimated 1.2 billion people worldwide who don't have adequate access to safe drinking water. The Metropolitan Water District and its member agencies have done a lot to shore up our water supplies over the years and to provide water reliability. Through effective conservation and wise water use programs, by being responsible environmental stewards, and cleaning up groundwater basins, the Southland has learned lessons that are of value to the rest of the world. Metropolitan is the regional wholesale water supplier for all of Southern California and in that sense our agency covers six counties, uh, over 5,000 square miles of service territory and over 19 million people. We operate aqueducts, pipe systems and five of the ten largest treatment plants in the entire world. The challenges we face are we're continuing to grow. California is supposed to go to 50 million people uh, over the next 25 years. Southern California is supposed to go to 25 million people, so we are still going to be about half the state's population. To do that, we have to grow our water supply, but we can't import more water. We've been taking very progressive steps towards diversifying our water supply sources, all the way from conservation to water recycling to bringing in water from the State Water Project from the Northern California area to the Colorado River. And so by diversifying all these resources, we're simply practicing a very wise approach. Don't put all of your eggs in one basket. Metropolitan built a massive surface storage reservoir in Riverside County, a $2 billion project which has provided great flexibility during dry periods. We have developed enough resources where if the Colorado River is reduced, we've been able to make up that shortage through deliveries from recycled water facilities, through the state water project, from our reservoirs, from groundwater banking programs. And that explains the importance of diversifying all of your sources. You know, in the drinking water business, the first step of providing high quality water, Metropolitan's mission is to provide reliable water, of high quality to our consumers. Since the early 1980s, there was probably about 30 different regulated contaminants. Now we have close to 120 regulated constituents that we have to test for on a regular basis. The treatment plants are located in different counties throughout our service area. And so that allows us to take water from the different sources and serve the water directly to all parts of our service area. We have chemists, microbiologists, and engineers that all work together. Uh, we perform really the bulk of compliance testing, but Metropolitan has also been engaged in looking forward. We collect between 50,000 and 70,000 source and finished water samples throughout the year, and that results in over 350,000 test results. I think it's safe to say we pretty accurately characterize our drinking water before it gets to the consumer. Water really is the lifeblood of Southern California. It's absolutely critical to the health, economy, and lifestyle of Southern California. And with challenges come opportunities. Metropolitan is working closely with its member agencies and numerous stakeholders, including other water agencies, the business community, environmental groups, and our elected officials in Sacramento and Washington, D.C., to identify solutions and address the water supply and delivery challenges affecting not just our region, but the entire state's health and economy. For more information about Metropolitan, go to mwdh20.com.